Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to Inspiration for Cards. Today I'm actually gonna be working in my art journal. Uh, in the art journaling group from Elizabeth Craft Design there's a challenge, a monthly challenge. Uh, Ilse and Charlene are hosting this and it's called Journal With Us 2022. Now the challenge is to do something different every month. So use corrugated cardboard, that was it, it was in January. Uh, fabric, old book paper, watercolor paper, linen, etc, etc. That goes on and on. Now for February they just launched that the challenge is texture paste. Yes! Because I love texture paste. I love working with texture paste, etc. Uh, but there's also a downside to that because I have too many ideas. And I'm going all over the place, so I'm going to take you with me on my journey. This was the January page I did with the corrugated cardboard. And I added an extra challenge for me because, well, <laughs> I'm me. Uh, I was looking for colors, color inspiration for the month of January and I came across this picture. Um, and it has different colors for every month of the year. So January was blues and purples and February is reds and pinks. So that's an added challenge for me. So. I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be working on uh, my February, completely blank. Um, and yeah, so what I did, I've cut out some pages using um, this set, just the basic frame. This is the floral inserts. I only used the page. I've used that to make the base page and I've used that to cut out this page. And then I used my corrugated uh, trimmer the Tim Holtz one, to give it a raveled edge. Now this fits really nicely on here later on. So I'm going to be working on this page here. And later on I will put it in here. You see, that fits really nicely. So I made it slightly smaller so there's an edge. I will do something to this edge because, yeah, this is too plain for me, but okay. Then what I did was I've cut out um, this piece and I've used, I don't have many of the art journal dies, but they are really nice. Uh, this is the specials Florals of Winter. There we go, Florals of Winter. That's the set. Then I used the Planner Essentials set, uh, Planner Months to cut out February. And this is what I really like about uh, combining the different collections. Uh, so that's this one that's going to be on there. Uh, this is going to be on there. And I was practicing with making flowers and I made this one and I thought, oh, it's pink. So maybe, maybe, just maybe it will go in there. Uh, I've cut out some flowers and ephemera from black, uh, all with the double sided adhesive on the back. So I'm going to start with playing on my background and I'm going to do that with texture paste. I've got a stencil and I've got some acrylic paint um, and I've got texture paste. Now I've got this idea I want to combine two sorts of texture paste so I'm going to start with the uh, matte distress texture paste and I'm going to use some hearts because February is the month of love. Now to be honest I hate Valentine's Day I think it's a commercial yeah thingy but that's Personal, I don't make Valentine's cards, but in this case I thought, oh well, get over yourself, David, and do it. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do that on this craft mat, because that will clean up nicely when I'm done. And knowing myself, I will make a right mess out of it. So, I'm going to be putting on some texture paste through the stencil. The stencil is also from the Art Journal collection by Ilse and Charlene. So I'm going to press this through through the stencil and I'm not going to completely fill everything in because I, I like that. Um, yeah, rough look. And these hearts are not perfect anyway. Uh, that's what I like about them. Okay, that's on there. And then I'm going to peel off my stencil and there are the hearts right on there. This is what I had in mind. I might do a bit here as well because well why not. So I'm gonna get some texture paste out again. Way too much David. Way too much. Go back. Okay. 
Now what I've got here is watercolor paper, so I can, yeah, really saturate that. And one is uh, the smooth one, a smooth one, I should say. And the other one is a textured one, this one um, that I've got here. That, that's perfect. That can dry, this can go back. Um, so that will give a different effect once we start using color on that. And I'm still not 100% sure whether I want inks on there. Uh, I've got spray stains, I've got mica stains, I've got oxide spray, I've, and I've got these colors here. And I might just do a mix of everything. First, we need to dry this texture paste. Okay, these are nice and dry, and the texture paste is on there. So this is gonna be here, this is gonna be here. Okay, um, so next what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take a couple of brushes. These are quite uh, liquidy already, especially the, the golden ones, but very highly pigmented. Um, so I'm going to put a couple of drops on here. Get my water. and thin that out a bit. And then I'm just gonna randomly go over here and wet it, and see what it does. Get some of the darker paint. I like that. It's almost like watercolor that it, I guess it becomes watercolor because I'm adding water. I like when it drips, so. Let's take a paper towel and clean this up. And I will do the same on this side. And then I think we've got a nice base already. Like this, spray it with water again. And let it do its thing. This is bright. I don't know if the camera picks it up how bright it is, but it is really bright and there's dark in there. So this is the first layer I'm doing. I'm going to build up some colors, but I first need it to dry. But I really like the texture in this from the texture paste, but also from the different paint. So I'm going to quickly dry this. Okay, this is fairly dry already and I love how it comes out look at the texture paste that's picking up a slightly more of the color slightly darker we're getting there right let's do this one just spray it with a bit of water so it's got a base and there's enough paint on the brushes to give this also some color and this is the first layer so I'm going to build on the layers of color wet that a bit and move it around and dry that as well okay let me have a look this is coming together nicely okay next i've got another color which is um, roasted red naranja tostado cronecrodone burnt orange orange this looks red to me yeah. i'm gonna put some drops on and then I'm going to mix that with the cronacridone 
magenta to give it a bit more of that pinkish tone. Wet it to see what color it brings, because I want some more darkness in there. Just randomly tapping over this. Spraying that with water to get it moving. This is giving it some darker contrast and that's what the point was. Trying it again. Okay. Yeah, it's coming together nicely. I mean, if I take my picture again with the color schedule from February, there you see it coming together nicely. I want some shine on there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, peppermint stick distress mica stain it's from the um, Christmas collection from Tim Holtz but there's no reason why you can't use that in February right and I'm gonna put this in my splatter box and also what I want to do is get these flowers. There we go. Shake the bazinga out of this. I'm just gonna lightly spray this over the flowers and over these pages. Because this is gonna give it some shine and sparkle. And I'm gonna do the same with the Winterberry and that's gonna be fun on the black because on the black it will just give it some um, Sparkle and shine. I forgot my February. So we'll do that And what this will do this will give it beautiful shine from the mica spray and leave that to dry. Can you see how fun this is on this black? It really gives a nice dimension again and pulls the colors back in. My hands are a mess, but hey, that comes with working with paints and inks and colors. I love it. I love this. This just letting your creativity flow, doing what comes up in your mind without any rhyme or reason. Because I did not have a plan up front I was just thinking okay I'm gonna play with color paint and see where it leads me good I'm gonna dry this one first because I need this to be dry for the next step let me see if I can capture the shine for you can you see it the shine of that mica it is absolutely gorgeous Right, next step. I'm gonna take my stencil again and I'm gonna put that on the page and I'm gonna use my transparent gloss. Now this is gonna be white at first, but um, I'm making a mess. It will not stay white. go and I will put some over here now this stuff is a lot thinner than the texture paste I used over there so it's a bit funny to use it after each other so what you will see is that this will pick up the color you can already see that I uh, saw that when I was scraping it on it picks up the color from underneath a bit so don't put it back Right, so I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to put this in the sink and then I'll be back. Now this is not quite dry yet, but uh, what I'm going to do while this is drying further, I'm going to take some walnut stain and I'm going to use that to grunge up the edges just to give it a bit more of a grungy, edgy look, which is still my style <laughs> because this pink is a bit too pink for me. And this immediately gives it a bit more of a darker edge. 
and it also in my opinion brings forward the uh, yeah the, the, the and it also brings the light forward so I like that effect I'm also gonna grunge up this flower a bit because it's, it's too neat for me so using this I'm just gonna give that a bit more of a grungy look brownish yeah, that's better that's better and I'm gonna do the same to the main page being careful not to smoosh my hearts okay now while this is drying further let me see because I don't like this clean look around the edge so I might probably will edge this page up a bit using walnut stain to bring it all in together and all these techniques that's the fun about this you can use this to make cards you can use it in your journal you can use it in your planner um, even you can combine all the different techniques let me see if this makes any sense yeah that's you see you see the difference it makes I like that so this is dry dry enough so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one on the page I'm gonna put some 3 mil tape around because that's the easy way to do it and I like quick and easy so I'm gonna put some tape on these tabs this is the Elizabeth Craft Designs 3 mil tape now I don't have any nails so I need my thingy my tweezers to get this off just lining that up now this die was too big because I've made the page slightly smaller um, however I just cut off the top here so that's nice then I think I want my flower yeah I want that on there so and yeah it's it's a lot of dimension I know let me cut this off I just like that and then I'm going to use where did that go here we go I'm gonna put this one behind the flower I've got some double-sided adhesive behind this and actually it's letting go that's not good I'm gonna put that right here on there right then my February will go on here like this so I'll take off the adhesive and let me just take my tweezers because then I can position it really well since you guys need to see it as well normally I would put my head over it yeah. cool then I've got this piece of burlap this is too big so I'm gonna cut that down a bit I'm gonna take my thingy my craft pick and I'm gonna crunch this up a bit yeah 
I'm going to put that on here. And I've got this tape, of not tape, um, this pinkish, um, how do you call it, ribbon, which I want on there as well. I'm going to, I don't want this straight, so I want this to go from here. I'm just going to staple this here. And I like these little mini staplers. It gives it also some structure. One in here, sorry you can't see, and I'm going to put one in here. And then I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to cut this off here, so you can see the reveled edges coming underneath. And then I will use... this to rough that up a, a bit, the walnut stain that is. I'm going to do that here as well. Not much, but that pulls it in together. I like that. Next I'm going to take my flowers Let me see how I want them, like this. So I'm going to put this one on first, peel off that backing. And the same with this one, peel off the backing. That's the beauty of cutting it out with the adhesive on the back. Saves you the, I want it under here. You don't have to glue it down, you can just stick it on there. And then I'm gonna cut these just like this. There we go. And I think I'm nearly done. What I want to do is take my white Posca pen, get it going, and just around here I want these hearts to have A bit of an outline. So I'm just quickly going to do that like so. I'm going to do the same with January just to make it stand out a bit more, or February that is. January is already passed. Yeah, I like that. And that brings it in together again. And then with my black Posca pen, I'm going to make some shadows on the inside here. Just... Bring in some black. Now, take my white Posca pen the bigger one and I'm gonna do some white splattering
There. Snow in February. That's what I mean. I'm quickly gonna dry this because knowing myself, I will smudge that everywhere. Next, I'm gonna take my page and I want it right here, correct? Yeah, January. And here comes February. Cool, I like it, I like it. Now I'm gonna attach the back using my uh, ATG gun just because I can and because I like this machine a lot. It's very simple to use. Um, and it's quite firmly on there when I'm done, which is also very nice. I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna stand up so I hope my head is not in the way. Like so. and put the pages in there. Close it up, press it down, and there we have it. February in my art journal. So I still need to make a front page. I've got January here with the corrugated card stock and February here with all the texture paste, different kind of texture paste. So this was it. I hope you like it. If you do, please consider to subscribe to my channel. All the products that I've used will be listed below in the description bar or for a full visual uh, uh, lineup of the products, go to my blog that you can find there. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you for the next one. Thank you for watching this one. Bye.